This is the webinar on HATHOR, which is the code name I've given to the Accessible Administrator template for Joomla 1.6 um, that is this Google Summer of Code project for 2009 that I've been working on, along with my mentors, uh, Steve Fisher and TJ Baker. And okay. what I'm going to be going over briefly is the purpose of the project, the changes that have already been committed to core, the template options that I've got, some user interface changes that have occurred as part of this, the accessibility changes that I put in, and some known accessibility issues that are still occurring. The purpose of this project was to create an accessible template for the back end of Joomla 1.0. I can't hear any audio anymore. You're not hearing audio, okay. Oh, there, now I am. Now you are. Were you saying anything? <laughs> I have been. Have you not heard anything yet? Um, Shall no, I start no. over again? No, that's okay. Keep going. Um, okay. Um, the purpose of the project is to create an accessible template for the back end of Joomla 1.6. Um, for 1.5, we made it possible to create um, websites with Joomla that are accessible, but the back end of it for the people who are actually administering it was still not accessible. So this is what we're trying to solve with this. As, as part of that, some other things needed to happen. One was is we needed a new manual module that would make the menu accessible. And the back end um, needed to be able to have templates uh, attached to it the same way we do in the front end with uh, template overrides. And that involved some um, restructuring of the code into to more of an MVC. It looked for a while like I might end up having to do part of that. But as it turns out, um, I really didn't need to do too much of that part. Part, but I did have to happen. So, there are, there are changes, changes that have already been committed into core. Um, the, the keyboard accessibility in some areas um, has been done. The nice thing about things that are committed into core already is that these will be available to everybody even if they're not using a template. One of the things with keyboard accessibility is that you need to be able to get focus on an object to use the keyboard. And in order to do that, you basically need to have like an A tag with an href, or you need to have um, a form control. And what we found in here is that there were a number of places where people were using either headers or A tags without any kind of a, um, an href. And so what happens with that is that um, you, you're not able to get the keyboard accessibility at that point. So what we've done is, is on a number of the submenus, we've committed into core um, the keyboard focus issue. We've done it on the top, top level of the main menu. To have the actual menu be fully accessible, you do need to use this template because it has JavaScript and CSS um, that complete the accessibility. Um, but more work still does need to be done. There are still a few places in core that um, you're not able to have um, keyboard focus on. The other thing that we've done is there's better structure in some areas. We've redone the, the status module um, so that instead of it saying um, 20, in, it will say two users, zero messages. So it's much more understandable. In addition, on the toolbar icons, um, we've changed that from being a table layout into a list, which is also much easier to deal with. Well, what's going on here? There we go. OK. Um, the template itself comes in two modes. It has two different colors. There's standard, and there's a high contrast. Um, and I will show you what it looks like. This is the high contrast mode. Rather than black and white, it turns out that actually like a navy blue and a gold works much better um, for being uh, working with the high contrast. 